Bismillahirrahmanirrahim my dear students of fourth year mbbs today we are discussing a very important topic of ophthalmology that is crystalline lens of the eye and its disorders the commonest disorder is the cataract rather it is the commonest disorder of the ophthalmology that is managed and cured across the world with maximum success so what are the objectives we have in this subject you should know the applied anatomy of the crystalline lens number 2 what is cataract and how to evaluate it clinically having done that you should be able to identify diagnose investigate different types of cataracts and suggest their management plan so today's tutorial is meant for this purpose come on to the next slide briefly we are going to discuss the structure of the lens crystalline lens is a globular structure located in the anterior segment of the eye between iris and pupil anteriorly and vitreous humor posteriorly laterally it is attached all around to the ciliary body ciliary processes of the ciliary body with the zonular ligaments and it remains suspended here throughout the life unless there is some pathology of the zonular ligaments generally it is 10 mm in diameter and 4 mm in thick when at rest that is not accommodated its posterior curvature is more than anterior curvature and that is 6 mm next slide this will show the parts of the crystalline lens of the eye अब इसमें देखिए दिस इज एन ओवर स्ट्रक्चर एक्सटर्नली देयर इज कैप्सूल जिस सारा बाय साइड में कैप्सूल है फाइबरस कैप्सूल इज बेसिकली द बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ एपिथेलियल सेल्स इट इज फेली टेंस दैट इट डज नॉट अलाउ द कंटेंट्स टू लूज देयर एनाटॉमी एंड शेप जस्ट अंडरनीथ द कैप्सूल इज द एपिथेलियम of the lens this is epithelium these cells are present since the embryonic life in infancy and early childhood their number is highest up to 3500 to 4000 cells per cubic millimeter and they keep on decreasing with age so that by the age of 60 onwards they are around 2000 cells per cubic millimeter these cells are meant for regeneration and producing this collagen fibers here as you see here they transform into macrophages and lay collagen fibers and throughout the life they keep on laying the collagen fibers that form the cortex out and when compressed in due to uh, more pressure from the outside the inner part becomes a nucleus and nucleus becomes more and more hard as the new fibers are being laid from epithelium and the cataract develops due to the density of the nucleus in later life basic purpose of these cells is to grow the lens as desired till the age of say 20 22 then maximum length has developed and all three structures are fully developed nucleus cortex and capsule itself so after that the role of the cells is to repair the damaged cortical tissue and still laying out some fibers and they keep on compressing inwards and make the nucleus more and more dense by the age of 60 onwards only few cells are left in this equatorial region all the cells of anterior capsule or uh i mean cleared or 
they lose their life because there is no more need for them and only here there is uh, some cells at the equator on either side and they will uh, fulfill the requirement and the problem that arise they are also due to these cells we will discuss later so you know the three parts capsule then soft cortex inside the capsule and deepest and center one is the relatively hard nucleus of the lens now what is cataract loss of transparency of the crystalline lens due to any reason is defined as cataract it is the leading cause of preventable blindness all over the world and the patient presents to you sabse important ye ki aapko kaise pata chalega ki patient ki cataract aa raha hai patient ko the patient will present with gradual progressive and painless blurring or loss of vision secondly patient may report with frequent change in the spectacles a patient of middle age or early late age who is using spectacles he will complain that the number of glasses is changing frequently and he develops better vision after change of the glasses maybe after every 2 to 3 months another sign or in the history this is another symptom the third symptom that is there the people have difficulty in driving due to bright light where they feel low vision or blurring of the vision more as compared to dim illumination and secondly they have glare at night and sometime double vision from the same eye if the pupil gets dilated in the evening that is known as monocular diplopia but aapne jo yaad rakhna hai progressive painless gradual visual loss or blurring in a middle aged or elderly person and secondly if there is a frequent change of the glasses is indicative of cataract if there is no other uh, history or uh, sign symptom so you should think for cataract and plan accordingly so how you will think that this patient is having nuclear cataract nuclear cataract is the primary cataract that everybody has to suffer at one stage of the life or later and its severity may be different from individual to individual it is basically due to increased density of the lens nucleus which later becomes opaque and typically an old person will be presenting with progressive painless visual blurring that will affect more severely one eye and later the other eye there is another phenomena of second sight very interesting phenomena hota kya hai the person of 60 years of age who is using a plus 2.5 press bubble glasses he comes to you with the history that his glasses number is reduced or he can see without the glasses he can read without the glasses though there is some clouding or distant vision this is another indication that the lens is becoming dense and patient is getting nuclear sclerosis though not yet opaque so this is an alarming sign that the patient is going to develop cataract not that the patient is getting young again as he may think so as i discussed it is difficult for them to drive at night and especially they have glare as you see in this picture next diagram a normal person will be looking like that as in left picture everything crystal clear and the same picture on the right image of the same picture will be looking blur like this if the patient is having cataract especially the ones who are driving they will not see clear signals see here in this a normal person is seeing all yellow green and red normally whereas a cataract one is having mixed images and will not be able to see them properly and will be put it uh, the car and the other people at risk if driving this is another test and again they will be having a glare at night which has a dress like this next slide isme kya dekha aapne there are street lights and there is a sort of glare around them this is very very irritating and makes the driving very difficult similarly there are halos around the sign boards light rays ki jal rahi hoti hain around you can see another halo 
एंड द हेलो इज ऑन द रोड साइड एज वेल अगेंस्ट योर ओन लाइट जो आपकी अपनी गाड़ी की लाइट पड़ रही है रोड पे उनके अराउंड भी हेलो नजर आते हैं तो दे आर अदर ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ड्राइविंग एट नाइट सो सम पीपल कम एंड रिपोर्ट एट अर्ली स्टेज अबाउट हेलोज एंड ग्लेयर वाइल ड्राइविंग और दो दे डोंट हैव डिफिकल्टी इन विजन सो यू विल फाइंड दैम टू हैव अर्ली कैटरेट सो दीज आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ द कैटरेट वंस द पेशेंट प्रेजेंट्स विद दीज सिम्टम्स टू यू द फर्स्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट थिंग इज टू टेस्ट द विजुअल एक्विटी ऑफ द पेशेंट ऑन स्नेल एंड चार्ट फॉर डिस्टेंस एंड ऑन फॉर जगट चार्ट फॉर नियर विजन मेन प्रॉब्लम इज जनरली फॉर डिस्टेंस बिजन इन दीज पेशेंट्स सो सी हेयर इज द स्नेल एंड चार्ट वट आर यू सींग A normal person should see six by six the sixth line here while sitting at the distance of say twenty feet or six meter. But as the vision decreases, unaided or uncorrected vision decreases beyond this. Maybe you have third line per liya, second per liya, one per liya. If you are only top ladder per liya, the vision is six by sixty. It means the vision is fairly down. करमुनी ने बताया होगा आपको इफ पेशेंट कैन नॉट रीड दिस टॉप लेटर देन वी आस द पेशेंट टू लुक एट आफ्टर फिंगर्स एंड काउंट देम कमिंग फ्रॉम एडिशनल सर ट्वेंटी फीट ग्रेजुअली क्लोजर टू द पेशेंट एंड इफ द पेशेंट कैन नॉट काउंट द फिंगर्स एट वन मीटर देन वी मूव अवर हैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द आईज एंड इफ द पेशेंट प्रसिव हैंड इट्स नोन एज हैंड मूवमेंट विजन इफ दैट कैन नॉट पॉसिबल देन वी थ्रो लाइट इन द आईज एंड इफ द पेशेंट कैन प्रोजेक्ट द लाइट कि लाइट राइट से आ रही है लेफ्ट ऊपर नीचे कहीं से आ रही है तो दैट इज प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइट एंड इफ दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड ओनली पेशेंट एप्रिशिएट्स दैट पेशेंट कैन सी द लाइट ओनली बट कैन नॉट डायरेक्ट वेयर इट कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट इज परसेप्शन ऑफ लाइट ओनली दैट इज द वीकेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द विजन आफ्टर दैट इज एन पी एल नो परसेप्शन ऑफ लाइट एंड दैट इज टोटली ब्लाइंड पर्सन सो दिस वे यू टेस्ट द विजन ऑफ द पेशेंट आंस लाइन चार्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट no if the patient has very dense cataract and you are seeing nothing in the pupil except white lens and patient's will, uh, will acuity is just say to the hand movements or projection of light etc then you don't know what is the functional status of the macula of the patient because you are not seeing anything beyond lens so we have various tests to check the vision through opaque media ये दो नाम इसमें आ रहे हैं आपके मेडॉक्स रॉड टेस्ट एंड अदर इज द टू पॉइंट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन टेस्ट सो वी कैरी आउट प्राइमरली दिस टेस्ट देर आर अदर टेस्ट बट दीज आर मोर इफेक्टिव एंड मोर प्रैक्टिकल सो व्हाट इज मेडॉक्स रॉड ये देखिए मैंने इस पर लगाया एरो मेडॉक्स रॉड इज अ सीरीज ऑफ सिलेंडर्स अरेन्ज इन अ रो एंड दे आर गिवन रेड कलर This is placed horizontally in the trial frame. Here, इसमें देखिए trial frame horizontally रखती है इस तरह से, and then throw the light at distance of 35 centimeter. यहाँ पे देखें, 35 centimeter या 14 inches से we project a bright, sharp torch light or pen torch light on the eye of the patient. ये eye है इधर बड़ा हुआ है ये मेडास रॉड. यहाँ से हम light project की, and if the patient can see, जितना भी vision उसके कम होगा. पेशेंट विल अप्रिशिएट अ रेड लाइन होता ही है ये सारे जो सिलेंडर होते हैं ना ये हॉर्जेंटली पड़े हुए हैं दे गिव एन इमेज ऑफ अ वर्टिकल रेड लाइन जो हॉर्जेंटल है तो वर्टिकल रेड लाइन देंगे अगर इनको वर्टिकल रखा जाए तो हॉर्जेंटल रेड लाइन देंगे तो हम वर्टी हॉर्जेंटल रखते हैं एंड आज द पेशेंट वेदर द पेशेंट इज सींग वर्टिकल रेड लाइन लाइक दिस इफ इट इज यूनिफॉर्म स्मूथ एंड कंटिन्यूस लाइन द विजन ऑफ द मैकुल इज गुड सो मैकुलर फंक्शन आर गुड and if it is broken like this or it is irregular or it is incomplete like that it means the macular functions are poor so diagnosis will be a patient with cataract with poor macular functions and visual prognosis will not be good other test is two point discrimination test very interesting test here you observe the rule of two yahan dekhiyega rule of two rule of two mein kya hota hai कि यू पुट टू इलिमिटेड स्पॉट्स ऑफ द लाइट फाइन टॉर्चेस होती हैं विद टू मिलीमीटर डायमीटर लाइट सोर्स दे आर प्लेस्ड टू इंचेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड अदर एंड एट टू फीट फ्रॉम द पेशेंट एंड देन पेशेंट इज आस्ट 
to see the two different images response dekhte hain uski if the patient can see two different images at distance distance then the wave functions of the macula are good but if the patient cannot separate them the two images separately and says that there is the light source but cannot separate the two images it means the macula functions are again poor and prognosis will be not good after surgery so these are the macula functions in opaque media you should know it and if the patient is having dense cataract you will be able to check the macula function of the opaque media by using madox rod and two point discrimination test to see the pupil reaction for cataract we throw the light from the side and see whether pupil is reacting to light or not in this patient it is reacting well that means retina on the back of the eye is normal otherwise pupil will not react briskly how so our mature it is number 2 uh, i am uh, sending the shadow of the iris on the lens if the shadow is there it is immature if there is no shadow it is mature cataract so you have seen after uh, checking the vision on snell and chart the next is the light reflex you throw light here if people reacts it means the retina is functioning very well and if the people light is sluggish it indicates the poor retinal functions the second thing we as i had shown in this uh, video you throw the image of this iris on the lens aage dekhiyega is right pe aaje if the cataract is immature here is the light source from the left side as iris images of iris is falling on the retina here you can see black images of the iris on the lens that is positive iris shadow test and this shows immature cataract because cortex is soft and not opaque nucleus is opaque on the back of it so the image passes through the cortex and makes a shadow on the nucleus this is immature cataract if there is iris shadow next slide yahan dekhiye the cataract is totally mature lens nucleus as well as cortex is opaque and opacity is almost touching the back of the iris so there is no image of the iris being formed on, on the lens so if there is iris shadow is negative in the test that means cataract is mature now seeing this slide with torch ab kya nazar aaya torch mein simple pupil is dilated uh, by the medicine in this patient here and you are seeing the center of the pupil pupil area lens is opaque and white as seen through torch torch se ye gray aur white nazar aayega cataract area nucleus ka aur side pe cortex is clear so that will be gray or dark black सो इस वीडियो में आपने क्या देखा कि यू टेक दर्मोस्कोप इन योर हैंड राइट हैंड एंड थ्रो द लाइट फ्रॉम डिस्टेंस ऑफ आर्म्स लेंथ ऑन बोथ द आईज एंड थ्रो द लाइट इन टू द पीपल्स ऑफ द पेशेंट एंड सी द रेड रिफ्लेक्स आगे देखिए नॉर्मली दिस इज द रेड रिफ्लेक्स यू सी इसकी पीपल कम लाइट में हम कह रहे हैं पीपल डायलेटेड है एंड यू आर सींग ब्राइट रेड रिफ्लेक्स इन बोथ द आईज राइट एज वेल एज लेफ्ट एंड इन द सेंटर इज द कॉर्नियर रिफ्लेक्शन दैट इज कॉर्नियर रिफ्लेक्स वी नॉर्मली सी बाई थ्रो इन लाइट इन द आई सो यू सी ब्राइट रेड रिफ्लेक्स इन अ नॉर्मल पर्सन विद नो ओपेस्टी इन द मीडिया कल आपको तारे साहब ने बताया होगा कि आपको मीडिया दे आर कंजिस्टिंग ऑफ कॉर्निया लेंस एंड ब्रिटिश कैविटी इसमें से कहीं भी ओपेस्टी होगी तो आपको ये रेड रिफ्लेक्स नजर नहीं आएगा ओपेस्टी रेड रिफ्लेक्स नजर आने का मतलब है कि देर इज नो ओपेस्टी इन द मीडिया एनी वेयर सो यू सी विद रेड रिफ्लेक्स दैट देर इज नो ओपेस्टी इन नॉर्मल पर्सन नो इन दिस पेशेंट देखें आप इसमें डिस ऑफरमोस्कोपी इज डन पीपल इज फुली डायलेटेड हेयर जहां पीपल जा रही है बाहर ठीक है और आप देख रहे हैं कि सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ द पीपल एरिया shows opacity grayish white opacity and periphery is clear the center is the nucleus nucleus is getting cataracts 
and it is blocking the rotary flash so it is looking gray quarter is clear on the periphery and the rotary flash is intact in that part so if such is the situation it is the nuclear cataract in this patient partly extending into the cortex as well here sometimes you see only a dark black spot in the center of the lens posteriorly in red flash rest of the flash is red this is a typical feature of posterior subcapsular cataract next you take the patient to slit lamp and examine in detail on slit lamp test kaun se ho gaye visual acuity testing number 2 I have shadow testing and pupillary light reflex testing by the torch. Number three, distant direct thermoscopy to see the red reflex intact hai ya usme gray area aa gaya hai. Number four, slit lamp examination. Slit lamp examination you can see all the detail of the eye from the cornea to the retina. Ab isme you can see this front uh, light is on the cornea, then anterior chamber black, then lens, and then on the back of it is vitreous. and if you use 90 diopter lens or other fundus lenses you can see the retina in detail as well so in this patient you saw here is the corneal line a light other is very well formed anterior chamber black is always uh, the liquids anterior chamber chamber is looking black then here cortex is okay but lens is nucleus is cataractus that way you cannot see anything behind that behind the nucleus so this shows dense nuclear cataract in this patient very important test at the same time slit lamp not only you see the detail of the cataract but you see take the intraocular pressure of the patient by applanation tonometry that is attached as an accessory accessory to all the slit lamps you use it here put the topical anesthetic proparacaine and then stain the cornea with fluorescein and see through the blue filter and you measure the intraocular pressure must have been told in detail by kalamudir the topic is glaucoma so on slit lamp you see the detail of the cataract as well as you take intraocular pressure and you can see the fundus using 90 diopter lens to see the associated pathology similarly if there was any corneal pathology or in anterior segment you can see with the slit lamp no haven't done that you have provisionally diagnosed the patient to be a case of cataract on the basis of history and clinical examination up till now but in the dd you should consider coronary dystrophies that will be cleared by slit lamp examination if slit lamp shows clean cornea and clear cornea there is no coronary dystrophies but other pathologies on the back of the lens like vitreous hemorrhages age related macular degenerations amd diabetic or other retinopathies or retinal detachments cannot be seen through any means if the cataract is white and mature because that will not let the light pass through it and you cannot see anything here ultrasound b scan comes to help you that is present in all the eye departments you put a gel on it and place it on the eyelid of the patient here and see the image in the screen until it is dense and then all black area shows clear vitreous all the, the this liquid show black in equal density then there appear white as in this case the cataract is white here and then on the back of eye sclera and orbit they are looking whitish gray and there is no elevation of the retina retina is attached everything is normal on the back of the cataract and here in the center you see gray at this less gray or darker area that is after nerve it is made of lipid and lipids are less echogenic so this is typical feature of the after nerve this is the normal area everything is normal vitreous retina and after nerve only there is cataract however you can see the pathologies as well in next slide here you see in the upper left you are seeing opaque area in the center of the vitreous cavity that is vitreous hemorrhage and blood is visible due to some reason this will also cause visual loss 
and in the presence of cathode you will not appreciate it because of opacity so ultrasound will help you know it in the lower diagram again the patient with cathode and you did ultrasound of the ultrasound B scan of the eyeball and you saw a wavy detachment of the retina attached possibly at the disc JPC nerve jari yaha attached hai this is typical regmatogenous retinal detachment total detachment where retina is attached only at the disc margin now see this picture upper right this patient is a case of long standing diabetes mellitus with tractional retinal detachment yahan bhi cutter tha partial cutter tha you can see some detail in the through 90 diopter lenses but ultrasound gives detail of tight rigid detachment attached to the optic disc here this typical tractional retinal detachment tractional is tight detachment and tough whereas wavy and soft is the regmatogenous detachment as here in addition you can see some pathology of macula in this picture you are seeing macula is elevated here although there is no pathology in the vitreous and other area so macular pathology is like age related macular degeneration with its complications like pigment epithelial detachments or hemorrhages in the area choroidal neovascularization that will affect the vision similarly macular edema due to diabetes or other causes will also affect the vision of the patient so that was all about the history examination and clinical evaluation of a patient of the cataract whether it was immature or mature and use of ultrasound b scan and detail to see the mature cataract and other related pathologies on the back of it and if everything is fine on the back of the eye the prognosis of the surgery will be good otherwise prognosis will be guarded so that was all about this lecture now i will send you an assignment you will complete the assignment and send back to me not later than 3 pm go thoroughly study the subject it has a lot of question and queries uh, queries for you to ask me i will be expecting your questions and will be answering them thank you very much and have a good day